We are here now in front of you today. We are getting back on our feet. It will take time to find the joy we lost, but the first time, but for the first time, I believe we will be able to do it. I, I don't think it gets easier. It just, I just do it for the cause that it needs to be done. It needs to, we need to be out there and show our faces to, uh, to tell our story and uh, to encourage, like Amfred said, to encourage others to speak out. Um, I think our sports system is, 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 is there's safety nets in place, but I don't think it's perfect. I mean, talking about abuse and, and some and such a horrible chapter in our lives is not an easy thing. But I mean, the more we talk about it, the more we get. Uh, I mean, we get it done because it's it's important, and uh, I'm willing to put that on the, on the side and and just uh, help uh, maybe put something together that will change the face of sport. The only way I can justify to relive my abusive past is to provide a platform for others that will give them additional protections and safeguards. This was not provided to me in the past, and as a result, 11 other young athletes suffered the same abuse from the same predator. What if this was your child you knew? What if someone, an athlete, another coach, a parent, anyone you knew about the abuse had stepped forward? I ask myself these questions every day, and this is why I'm here today. Because we need to do something. We need to take action and make changes to protect our youth. No one, I mean no child, no woman, no man should ever go through what we have experienced. Just looking at my kids every day, and they're exactly at the age where it started. So for me, it's, it, it, it has to happen. And I can't be with my children every second. And this is what I'm trying to do right now, just to protect them. And um, I, w I want them to be able to experience the, um, the joy of the sport and not um, live what I went through. We are brave because we are here today together. Words cannot describe how proud I am of the women sitting next to me and the anonymous ones for their courage to come forward.